Wednesday evening practice time for all of us. After a long day working, taking care of things with your family, engage with all the responsibilities for the world for your family, other people around you. Maybe you are exhausted, which is totally fine, that is part of life. Anyway, Leave everything behind for a moment in this next hour. Totally bring your attention to yourself, your well-being, your awareness, your meditation practice, how you feel, how I feel. Most of our time we are spending for others' well-being, which is wonderful act. But we don't have that much time for ourselves, reflect what is happening inside us. Therefore, this is your time, this is my time to go inward, look within, lovingly and mindfully observing our own emotions, own feelings, harmoniously. Figuring out where we have to stand in this life, in this existence. Which we call our meditation practice. As usual, Everything is dealing with our thoughts, feelings, emotions. Let's use some loving intention for ourselves, thinking I am well, I am happy, I am peaceful. Once Buddha said, if someone practice loving kindness even a moment, so many years that person receive benefit from loving kindness. Therefore, don't think this loving kindness practice is a very simple act. It is simple but it is profound benefit for all of us. Yourself, myself, world around us. Therefore, clearly make your intention for this loving kindness practice. 
that energy goes to all your cells, your bloodstream, you have mental benefit and also you have physical benefit practicing loving kindness. I am well, I am happy, I am peaceful. Now send your loving thoughts towards your family. Think to yourself, all my family members in front of me right now, they are looking at me, I am looking at them, they are smiling to me, I am smiling to them. We are sharing our loving kindness. Even some situation they are challenging people, difficult people, person who practice loving kindness. It doesn't matter what are the difficulties they are going through in their life, but in this moment we are doing our job to practice loving kindness towards them. May all of my family members be well, be happy, be peaceful. Just create that thought, intention in your mind. Then you are generating that radiant energy in you and you are spreading out that energy for all of your family members, my parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, children, grandchildren, wife, husband, uncles and aunts, nephews and nieces, May all of them be well, be happy, be peaceful.
brothers and sisters in one large family. Now send your loving thoughts towards the whole world. May all human beings, may all non-human beings be well, be happy, be peaceful. I know the world is too big for you to focus and think. No need to worry and concern too much about the bigger world, but concern of your intention. Your intention is so powerful. Your intention becomes an action. May all beings be well, be happy, be peaceful. Having loving motivation towards yourself and the world. Now slowly turn your attention to the subtle sensation of the breath. Every breath you take in, you take out, is taken mindfully. Focus on your natural, ordinary breaths. No need to repress your thoughts. No need to control your thoughts. Without your invitation, without your request, they are just happening without your permission they are staying for a while if they come without your permission or without your invitation 
if they are staying with you without your permission or invitation, they will leave automatically. Therefore, no need to worry clinging onto those thoughts or feelings or emotions. You just be an observer. They are coming, they are here, now they are leaving. Nothing to worry, nothing to be fearful or excited. No need to welcome them, no need to reject them. They are just coming as they are. They are just leaving as they are. But you can recognize them, who they are, how they are. Even you can label them who they are, how they are. But no need to clinging to them or attaching to them. Treating them nicely and kindly. Respect them, accept them. Just smile to them. You are sitting quietly with mindful, loving awareness, without judging, without condemning, without rejecting or making stories. You are stand tall with unshaken mind. You cannot breathe last moment, you cannot breathe the next moment, only this moment. Think to yourself, is it possible for you to breathe? Things already passed. Can you breathe yesterday? Even can you breathe a minute ago, that moment? 
or can you breathe future moments? But we cannot, only moment we can breathe this moment, therefore moment to moment paying attention what is happening in total way. Where is your mind? Please bring it back, back to the breath for present moment. Think to yourself, these many things that arise in my mind do not belong to me. When I think that they are mine to do as I wish, to cling to or to push away or to ignore, I generate enormous suffering in my life and in the lives of others. May I continue to develop great regard, respect and kindness towards many contents of my mind and my body.
in this human existence all human beings we all are helpless other existence like animal existence also they also are helpless being born as a human being we are in fear worries pain grief lamentation lots of suffering in our lives that's what we call life is a part of life same condition for other beings too i am asking you today do you see this what is happening in our life among those challenges pain and difficulties however we are surviving we are living our life until we die people who used to live in this world so many years they had that same universal condition people who are living now in this world they are going to experience the same universal condition whoever will come to this world in future they are going to experience same universal condition it doesn't matter how beautiful you are it doesn't matter how tall how big how wealthy your education you are a monk or you are a lay person or even you are a buddha doesn't matter all condition things we experience the same situation it is same to all of us human being it is same to all the animal beings it is same to all the condition things in the world how many years how many lifetime we were doing this job we were wishing we were expecting some green lights once in a while we saw some green lights but in this impermanence human existence or this world existence this green light this green light never lasts long for a while we have some green lights then we have more time we have a red lights then always that green and red in between that amber color life is going back and forth all the time we are crying we are in pain we are happy we are unhappy moment maybe we are content next moment we are not content discontent i am asking you all this is the way you want to live your life this is the way you want to continue this journey or stop 
for a moment think to yourself so many years foolishly without awareness no mindfulness i did same thing what other people doing in this world we have lots of complain about it so many years millions of years all the human being they were complaining about this unsatisfaction life challenges look for all the solutions but if they are a person did find the solution permanent solution for this life matters very few what can i see in this existence we are sinking every day we are sinking we are drowning but when we are drowning when we are sinking however we struggle dealing with that drowning that moment handle that moment then we are coming to the surface however of our hard work but after you come to the surface you can see little light you feel good you entertain that moment that experience then you think it is a permanent experience the moment you think this is everything is all right or everything is beautiful everything is great my life is going well that moment you are sinking again then you are drowning then you are struggling however you come to the surface again then you enjoy it for a moment then you are sinking again that's what i can see life we call living but that moment you come to the surface it is beautiful it is great then you are attaching to that feeling the moment you are attaching to that feeling you are sinking again you are drowning so what i am asking is it possible for you when you are practicing when you are drowning then you are come to the surface the moment you are more mindful about that moment figure it out quickly not attaching to that experience can you stand on the surface without sinking without drowning can you be a soft gentle person you can walk on that surface then that moment you are not belong to that existence anymore your path is very clear your mind is very clear the direction you are going you feel confident therefore i am asking don't sink when you come to the surface don't attach to it realize what is happening in between sinking and attaching on the surface to do that you need three things we need some guidance
So we have some guidelines, then we can train ourselves, then we can listen to those guidelines, those are not rules, because rules we follow based on fear. The guidelines we have with our pure intention, we want to get better in our spiritual journey. So then we are doing those guidelines. We are training ourselves. Then whatever guidelines we have, then we have to follow those guidelines, we have to practice them. Is it possible for you to make that commitment to practice those set of guidelines to make your life better? Now you have guidance, you have your practice, then you need some extra support to continue this journey. Then you need noble friendship. When you have that noble friendship, noble people around you, they are deeply lovingly, compassionately, they are supporting you for this journey. They are in journey, they are supporting you to be in the journey, in this spiritual path. Therefore, we all have to have, we have to trust those refuge, guidance, practice noble friendship. Remember, if you don't build that trust with those three areas in our lives, very difficult for us to stand without sinking on the surface. Therefore, my request for you all this evening, trust your three refuge, guidance, practice, noble friendship. If I say in traditional words, Buddha is our guidance, Dharma is our practice, Sangha is our noble friendship. Please think, understand more about those three areas in your spiritual journey. Now we are going to chant for you all, so many people requested prayers, blessing and healing. I cannot name all of them, but all are in my mind. We are going to chant for your well-being, your health, long life. May peace be with you, may you be well, may you be happy, may you be peaceful. Please listen to the chant.